Hi and welcome to another two from the Gold Ribbon. Today we're looking at the Inkscape Basics Path Tools and the last path tool we're looking at is the Calligraphy Tool. And the Calligraphy Tool can be activated with C or Control and F6. So we're going to press C, let's scroll into our canvas a bit. And we're going to be looking at the different types of presets we can use with the Calligraphy Tool first. So first, let's look at the default preset which is the dip pen by default and if we get this cursor we have to left click and drag to draw this and we're just going to draw and drag down and we can see what this looks like so if i bring the opacity up a bit so you can see it and this is what the dip pen looks like and if we curve the dip pen we see how the calligraphy brush imitates the dip pen so Let's create the C. And we've created a C here and we can see how it imitates the flatness of the dip pen to give it that beautiful sort of tapered look at the top and bottom. And that's how it works. And you notice that if we, when we draw this this using the calligraphy tool, we can see the shapes is creating so while it's creating for the dip pen it just uses rectangles in a line coming down that's great so that's the dip tool and if we double click it and go to the nose we notice that it's a several rectangles created one after the other to create the node form that we have here so we're going to move on to the next preset which is the marker let's scroll down see how it looks as a marker and this is the marker right here and it looks pretty much like a marker stroke with the rounded edges and then we're going to look at the next preset which is the brush and we're just going to bring the brush down and we can see that it's got those brush like edges too and after the brush we're going to be looking at the next preset which is the wiggly which is an Inkscape created feature and this feature is just a random sort of brush that causes the lines to interact to inter overlap with each other and has this really nice jagged edge natural and then we're going to move from the wiggly to the splotchy which is C activate splotchy and splotchy has this very nice edge too and it's rounded at the end so it's a paintbrush with splotchy edges with very wet edges almost like what you'd get with water water um brush paint well, so you get that so these are the presets again dip pen brush dip pen marker brush wiggly and splotchy so these are the preset these are the different types of presets so you can actually create your own preset but I'm if for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not going to go to go into that but you can add an, a profile for yourself to create a very interesting brush shape so basically you can create your own brushes for Inkscape if that's what you need to do or what you would like to do um, for the but we can need that for the preview for our next tutorial yeah i think i'll make a tutorial for that in, in a later date but for this is for basics so we're just looking at that and we're looking also now at we're looking now at the actual attributes that we can modify for the calligraphy tool and the first one we come across is the width and this is just the basic width of the stroke so we can have a smaller stroke or a bigger stroke based on this width and this is what the width controls the size of the stroke and we're going to look at the next preset which is pressure of input device now this tool is so good that it can actually respond to the pressure placed on it via the via pressure sensitive input device um, I don't I have a tablet with pressure sensitivity but it's not good enough for it to really show you massive detail into what into how useful this is but if you have a tablet like this an intro or a Cintiq 
or any of the others that have high pressure tablet sensitivity this is good because this allows you now to draw as if you are drawing on a piece of paper and alter width length of the stroke via the pressure that you apply so you can add that as a feature for the next one we have trace lightness of background by width of pen now I can show you this one and this is indeed a very ingenious tool, um, tool set here and can be very useful if you're a person that tends to bring in designs via scan or bitmap into Inkscape and then you trace over it you can activate the calligraphy tool right here and you can select tracing and tracing is a is a preset I think I deliberately left out tracing is a preset for tracing documents or pro tracing images bitmap or vector that is you know that you want to sort of get the edges for and it's this thin pencil line that helps you to trace so what I'm going to do I'm going to reduce the opacity of this and we are going to use the tracing preset along with the trace lightness and we're going to see how this works so we're going to increase the width just a little bit and we're just going to drag across so according to this tool if we drag across this dark area it's going to register this dark area as an area to have a thicker length versus white areas which have a thinner length so the darker the area the thicker the thicker the the thicker the stroke the lighter the area the thinner the stroke and that's good for when you want to have um, when using line art and you want to make sure certain areas are thicker than others this tool will, will sense that in the background and make the adjustments so if we drag across we see that we have a thick line if we carry it over to the white it gets thin carry it to the dark it's a thick line carry it to the white area gets thin carry it to the dark is a fit line and white area gets thin and this is great for line art a very ingenious tool and it will adjust itself according to the thickness and thinness of your stroke so of your stroke for whatever you're tracing so very good tool right there and you can increase the amount of thinning that you have also and thinning is a preset that looks at the velocity of your stroke so if you're a person that's so if you're stroking with a pencil sometimes you stroke a little faster than other times when you want to get a thinner stroke in that area that you're going faster in so you drag the pet the the pencil across the screen this is a different preset let's look at marker across the screen oh not marker let's use um brush so you drag it across the screen to get uh, a thicker stroke and uh, for the brush it will get thicker as you go faster as more brush comes in contact with the page so as we stroke slower we get a smaller stroke but as we stroke faster we get a bigger stroke and thus the brush is imitated here so the calligraphy tool is aiming to completely encapsulate all the motions of brushes and pencils in accordance to the way that we use them naturally here on pencil and paper and it's a great tool to use so you have the thinning here we have the angle of tilt now we can show this also because this is based on tilt sensitive um, pressure tablets and what happens is that when you tilt the pen it will also use the angle of the tilt to deter determine the size of the width of the stroke so it will use the speed it will use the tilt and it will use the pressure of the presser tablet to determine the width of the stroke great stuff um, sorry I couldn't show you but I don't have a tablet like that but that's what it does okay so we're moving on the fixation okay and this angle behavior nib always perpendicular to the stroke of the fixed angle and this talks to you about the flexibility of the angle so again we don't have it to show so we'll have to leave this one out okay so we're looking at the next one caps at the end of the stroke to produce small no caps rounded caps so we can round the end of the strokes a bit more in accordance to this feature right here 
the more it's rounded, the more it's in, the more we increase the caps, the more rounded the edge becomes. Good. And now we're looking at the effects that that deal with the sort of movement of the of the um, brush or the of the calligraphy tool over time in terms of its tremor, wiggle and mass. So when we're looking at tremor, we're looking at this sort of of that sort of um random um this unstableness of the stroke so when we're looking at it and we press c let's just draw it down to show you let's go to dip pen and we increase the tremor let's look at tremor of zero that's a straight line and let's increase the tremor and that sort of vibration look of the stroke so we can see that as we increase the tremor we get more of a sort of waves and trough type of thing with the stroke that we're drawing and if we look at wiggle now let's look at wiggle with nothing and let's look at wiggle when it's increased to so say at 70 and you can see that it's sort of playing about with the edges of the stroke making it a bit more wiggly at the very edges and sort of causing some areas to overlap also and the mass talks about how heavy the stroke is before it actually registers on the page and sometimes people feel like they need to use a lot of mass because it helps them emulate the brush that they used to use and you can see right here that the harder the mass is almost like you're pressing hard on it and therefore the stroke is following you and that's really good for those of you who want to feel the sort of hardness and, re and the resistance that a regular brush would give you when drawing for your canvas and that, that concludes the calligraphy brush tool set I hope you understood and enjoyed the tutorial if you want to see if, if you want to um, ask questions, be sure to ask me in my, on my website or in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. But until I see you again, get up and design a new door. Later.